Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 33 of May, June 2013. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Okay, here we have question number one. Solve this equation. Now, as you can see, we have x on both sides and modulus on both sides. So we square both sides. You will have 4x plus 3 square is more than x square. That will become what? So let's expand. You will have the value of 16 x square. That will be 2 times this times this. That will become 24 x plus 9 more than x square. Now send this over here. You will have 15 x square plus the value of 24 x plus 9 is more than 0. Now we can simplify obviously. Here we have 15, 24, 9 divided by 3 everywhere. You will have 5 x square plus 8x plus 3 is more than 0. Now we have to find the critical values of this equation. So critical values, we have to take the same equation and equate that to, to 0. Now let's factorize. Now if you guys cannot factorize, you can always use the formula, right? Now here we have 3. 3 is 3 times 1. To get the value of plus 8, we have to have plus 5 and plus 3 x will be the value of minus 3 over 5, x will be the value of minus 1. And let's simplify now. So obviously we have this number line over here, this is minus 1, and this is the value of minus 3 over 5, this is 0. Now because this is positive, it will be in this form, minimum curve, right? Now you want this to be more than 0, so more will be above, right? Above, it will be this side and this side. x have to be less than minus 1 or x have to be more than minus 3 over 5. Now you can check those values because again you never know sometimes it may be right or wrong. Let's check. Let's take the value of x to be minus 2. Replace in your main equation. Let's see what we have. We have that will be the value of 8 plus 3 that should be again the main equation is what it is modulus this 1 plus 3 is more than x. So, replace you will have uh, minus 8 plus 3, that will be 5, minus 5, modulus, more than, this is minus 2. So 5 is indeed more than 2, so good to go. This one is good. Now how about this one? Let's try, so x is more than this, let's try x is equal to the value of, of 1. Here you will have 4 plus uh, 3, that will be 7, is indeed more than 1, so confirm this is also good to go. So here you go. Our value will be x is less than minus 1, x will be more than minus 3 over 5. And this is your answer for question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have this equation, we have to express y in terms of x. Okay, so one by one, let's try to simplify this. You will have ln here of y plus 1, here we have minus, that will be divided by y. Now we can send this one over here, become the value of what? or not, because we have to have y in terms of x. Now 1 is what? We have to know 1 is ln of e, right? That will be ln of e, plus the value of ln of x cube. Send this over here, right? So now you will have ln of y plus this one over y equal to combine. That will become exponential, this one, cube. Now you will cancel on both sides. Here you go. And then we can just cross multiply. We can um, send this one over here. Or oh, let's see, we can divide by y. You will have 1 plus 1 over y is equal to exponential this one. Again, we can break this down into this. Now we can send this one over here. You will have 1 over y is equal to exponential x cubed minus 1. So obviously, y will have to be 1 over this one over here. Okay. And this is your equation in terms of y in terms of x, not involving log, as you can see. I guess the main thing here is we have to know, okay, 1 is ln of ey, because we know 1 is usually, let's say 2, what is 2? Two? 2 will be 2 ln of e. What is 3? Three? 3 ln of e, because we know this one will be just 1, that's why we can play with that. So in this case, because we have ln, we will use this one, and you will have these as the ln we can express the constant as. Okay, that will be your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So we have to solve the equation, this one, 
times 2x equal to 5 cot x. Now, the, the one thing we do realize here is here we have 2x, here we have x, so we have to convert the 2x into x. So we have to break down this tan 2x first. So you should know, uh, tan 2x is given to you by what? By the formula of 2 tan x over 1 minus tan square x. Now using that, we can simplify this one. That will be 2 tan x over the value of 1 minus tan square x is equal to 5. Now what is cot? Cot is 1 over 10, so times 1 over 10 will be 5 over 10x. Okay, good. Now we can simply cross multiply. This will go here and this will go here. So you will have 2 tan square x is equal to the value of 5 minus 5 tan square x. Now send all the tans to one side, you will have 7 tan square x is equal to 5. So tan square x will be 5 over 7. Now, obviously when you apply square roots, you will have to write plus minus 5 over, over 7. Now what is the value? So we have, of course, look at, we have to look at one by one. So we first, let's, let's go with the positive value because that's the easiest one. You will say, well, at first, 10 of x will equal to positive root 5 over 7. Now, when 10 is positive, obviously it will be in the first quadrant and also in this quadrant. This will be your value of x directly. And this is the value of 180 plus x. Now, obviously here we have, okay, let's go with this for now. To find x, that will be tan inverse of the value over here. Fair enough. So, 5 divided by 7, root of answer, tan inverse of that will give you 40, 0.2 degrees, but also after this one, this is 180, that will be 220.2 degrees. So we have these two values for x. Now let's move on. So here we have tan of x. Don't forget we have also the negative value, 5 over over 7. Now, whenever you have the negative value, I will recommend not doing it directly. Using your quadrants, we understand that ASTC, when tan is negative, it will have to be in this quadrant. And in this one. So this will be 180 minus, let's call this one uh, theta, and this one will be 360 minus theta. So the idea is very simple, is whenever you have negative value over here, we will first have to find some angle, I'll call, I will call this theta, you can call this beta, alpha if you want to, no problem, but the idea is you will not find x directly, you will use your quadrant to find x eventually. At first theta is equal to the value of tan inverse of the positive value of this one. This is equal to 40 point this one. Because we just did this here, right? Same thing. So eventually you will use your quadrants to find x. x will be 180 minus 40.2, that will be 139.8, or 360 minus 40.2, that will be 319.8. Here you go, so you have those values for x. So now we have to uh, obviously check if they lie between this domain. You can see this is too much, and this is too much. So eventually, x will be only two values of 40.2 and 139.8 for your angle of x. And this is your answer for question number three. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.